everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica and the rest of our coverage on Iron Blood for the 3DO M2. Before we get too deep into it though, go down below and hit like and subscribe. All those subs and likes definitely help us out. It's about a large project bringing Iron Blood to you guys, so we really appreciate all the help we can get. Short of that, we did show you the main executable for Iron Blood on the M2 a few weeks ago, but these are some more port versions for the 3DO M2 that are basically using the PlayStation 1 assets with higher polygon count character models. You'll see this gnome character here can run in circles. There's not a lot to these demos. Two of the three of them, the opponent character just does nothing except goes through their idle animation, but one of them, they do actually attack you. So that is something that it's a little bit of gameplay, but obviously these are very early in the development. And you'll see that those backgrounds compared to the first version I showed are complete 2D objects. They're just like background sprites and they don't really animate or do anything else, which as you'll see right now is exactly what the PlayStation 1 version did. Frame rate on the PlayStation 1 version is much lower and you can definitely see that that gnome character model doesn't really have as many frames of animation. So it's definitely something that the M2 version improved vastly on compared to the PlayStation 1. That and the fact that your character actually faces their opponent compared to the PlayStation 1 version here where you'll see that elf is just facing some weird random direction. So now what we're looking at is we have the executioner here and that knight character also shown in the other version for the M2. And once again, they're not going to attack, but you can run into them and make them hit that force field barrier. You do get a lot of clipping on those sprites on the ground with those runes, and that's just because this is an extremely early port of getting the game running on M2. So really, you'll have to excuse, you know, all those glitches. This footage is silent. I laid over the music on top of it. There are no sound effects. There is no music. It is just gameplay. But you will see that a lot of those animation and effects are still in there. Kind of those uh, sprite particle effects on that barrier. They still exist in the gameplay. And here on the PlayStation 1 version, you're going to see that executioner again. Lower frame count. Same background though. So you definitely see kind of like what's going on. And you can just see how much better the M2 version is compared to the released PlayStation 1 version. And this is the third and last version of Iron Blood I have currently. And this, you do have that second character keep being controlled by the computer. So it definitely gives you a little bit more of something to do. It's not a huge amount, but it still gives you a little bit more gameplay than those other two versions, even though attacking in this particular version becomes very difficult. But really, that's Iron Blood for the M2. I mean, it was ported over from the PlayStation 1, and this was supposed to be a release game for the 3DO M2. It got a ton of press in Edge Magazine and Next Generation back in the mid to late 90s. And just taking a look here, you see that same character with a little bit different color clothing in the PlayStation 1 version, but we have the exact same background. Pause it here, you can take a look at that character, and then when we go to the M2 version, you can see it's the same person, same background, but much higher detail. Minus that, we really appreciate you watching. If we have more Iron Blood stuff to show you, we will in the future. Short of that, uh, stop back on Tuesday for another mainline entry in the series. Otherwise, we really hope you enjoyed this. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe, and you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.